there's a lot of things about pregnancy and after pregnancy postpartum that they're not going to tell you and it's like funny to me I you know I'm experiencing it and it's he's almost my son's almost two months and now I'm like yeah they didn't mention these things that I'd go through or whatnot and I'd be like they never said this but yeah for right now postpartum to me is just that once in a while hold on he's gonna sleep because he's been up since like four or five in the morning crying and it's like eight right now and he finally barely went to sleep so that's having a baby right there but postpartum is like definitely once in a while you will um miss being solo for sure the solo single you that you totally hated all those years you will miss a little bit for a second you will miss the quiet you will miss the being able to sleep whenever you want to and just the freedom because now you have a forever responsibility and now you have a forever son or daughter that's always should be your top priority which is of course the way it should be but at the same time it's difficult in a way only a postpartum mom can understand so yeah it's like today i seen a picture on facebook of my old bedroom again and i can't and i hate seeing those pictures because i'm like sometimes i miss my old bedroom so much i miss my old life a little bit right it's like most of the time i just miss sleeping whenever i want to but that's that hasn't been that bad lately because my son's actually he just moved to the crib this weekend and he likes it right now i think he's just having a growth spurt and he hates being congested which i am cleaning his boogers out i'm sucking his boogers out which help him to clear that to clear him so he's just more angry at that and i think the growth spurts because his diaper change he's he's full of um breast milk in his bottle that i give him and etc cetera, etc cetera. so that's what i can think it is because once i can't figure out what my son wants i'm like it must be a growth spurt or sometimes it might not be he doesn't feel good or something but besides that i can kind of read him if he's hungry or if he wants to leave the room to go to a different scenery etc etc but yeah anyway so yeah once in a while postpartum is definitely missing the old you for a second at least for a minute it's just like i miss being alone i miss um not having to worry about another human being so massively it's crazy but it's a good thing of course and it's not saying that you don't love your son or daughter like i my son is my life dream my son is my number one gift from god my son is everything i adore him i love him of course i can't wait to show him the ocean the mountains i can't wait till we leave this state so he can live in a better house and have more freedom and have go fishing more and like shoot guns more for, for because we'd have a lot more freedom like especially our goals like Yeehawville like either Missouri or Tennessee I would prefer Tennessee because I would love being in a country state like oh my gosh where all like the country music is based even though they say it's more in Texas but I'm like I would never live in Texas too hot no thank you no but um Tennessee I'd consider Missouri I'm like it just seems like whatever so I'm like I guess but I'm like Tennessee I'm like country music Nashville would be it I wouldn't live in Nashville too expensive uh, the rent and whatnot is insane just like here anyway so I'd be like what's the point of moving to somewhere that's the same rent but um we're trying to get cheaper rent cheaper living so it's and then ye and then country style like a small town I'd be like heck yes where everybody knows everybody I'd be like perfect but anyways the Lord knows anyways so I don't even worry about that either because it's like well for right now we're stuck in California and we have to be millionaires to move so California it is for right now and at least I get to show, show my son the ocean later I can't wait of course I love him so much it's just postpartum is a bit you just are struggling you're becoming a new mom you're aggravated at your partner you're like you like like for me it's all those little things like for me I love my partner but we're not that close sometimes we don't have a good communication system so I just get annoyed with him sometimes he can be more grumpy or a smart ass and he makes me very upset or angry and I love him but in moments like that he just annoys me 
like when I ask him to do something or ask him something and it's just like sometimes I don't like you when you get on my nerves I do not like you I love you at all times of course but I do not like you at times and sometimes I want to cuss you out or even punch you because I do not like you sometimes and that's normal but we are getting there to become a better relationship so yeah it's just difficult and then other t and another thing for me is I miss my mom I hate her being by herself that's a stress factor for me because I, now I'm a postpartum because I'm like I'm just worried about her because my mom has bad health and I'm like and I miss her and she's all alone my mother has absolutely nobody but me and the baby really our family's all dead we are alone and I just miss my mom a lot more and I hate her we live outside Turlock and she's Modesto and it's like so it's like difficult because that's a bit far it's not too far it's only 15 minutes away but the people that's like that's really fast but for her she, it's hard for her to drive and I don't drive right now because I used to have so many anxiety attacks that I never got my license until I had him you know now I have to get my license but now the virus is here so now you can't get your license because it's insane the DMV is like closed pretty much to that so I just miss my mom and worry about her. Like, even though I give her into God's hands and God will take care of her, it's just one of those things. It's like I miss my mom. I wish it was a lot closer. The number one thing for me in my life, if I could wish anything that would come true, is just if me and my mom lived in a two-story house in the country and could, like, perfectly afford it and just, to me, that would be perfect. Her have her own room, me have my own room book room and my son have his own bedroom and our dogs and our beautiful um garden outside and animals that we would like you know if anybody doesn't want an animal and they're just gonna like torture it or kill it or just throw it on the side of the road in the country i'm like just give it to us we'll take care of it my goodness that to me would be the most perfect life ever but you know it can't happen it's like because can't rent a house it's so expensive or buy a house. It's even impossible. It's like, oh, it sucks so bad. The only thing for me is, like, I just get aggravated because I just wish, too, I was, like, I hate being poor. I wish I had a better career, but I was too much of a dummy back then to get a good career, so I'm poor now. And all I wish I could afford is just drinks. I'm serious. I just, like, love Starbucks, Jamba Juice, and getting horchata in downtown Modesto. That is all I care about, and I can't afford drinks. Cause they're expensive they're like five dollars five seven usually yeah around there five to seven dollars but it just makes me happy i'm just girly in that area or i'm just in just in general i just love drinks i just love having a starbucks or chata jama juice like i said it just makes me happy it makes like my day just like yay it's just my thing yeah i'm too poor to even afford that or just like once in a while all i want to i'm almost done collecting mostly everything i've wanted i mean in dvds and book wise and it's so exciting until new ones come out later but you know what i mean like the ones i wanted i'm almost done and i just wish once in a while i was able to afford something for myself or i wish i could be able to ask my partner oh okay can of course we take care of our son's priorities number one him diapers him to make sure whatever he needs but at the same time i'm like I will just, all I care about is just being able to, for me, to afford drinks and just once in a while, something for myself, which would just be, for me, is easy. Either a DVD or a book, a horror book, or a Christian book by Joyce Myers or Joe Osteen, or, like I said, a DVD, like either usually cartoons or horror or anything like that. And that just what makes me happy, and if it makes me happy, it does, so yeah. Postpartum is a bit difficult. I did, thank goodness I didn't have the de postpartum depression, which is really great. I just had struggles like every other mom would. You know, we just have struggles once in a while. We have ups and downs. It's really difficult being a mom, and you, no one will understand you being a mom until you, until you're one. It's exhausting. It is very tiresome. It is you sacrificing your body, you sacrificing your whole being, pretty much. You know, for your child, and of course, it's worth it. Cause they're your whole world and they're everything to you hopefully i think they should be i'm like please don't hurt your kids guys if you don't like your kids or anything like that i'm like please find counseling and please don't 
pretty his pretty children. I love mine. He's my whole world and he's my baby boy. I adore him so much. Of course, I'm just saying it can get difficult. I can be tired. I can be grumpy. I can be moody. I can miss my old self sometimes and that's okay and that's fine. But definitely, I also can't wait to until he's a bit bigger, which I want to be sad though already. I'm like, I already want to cry that he's not a newborn anymore from when I brought him from the hospital. He already got, he's already from his birth weight, seven pounds, five ounces. He's already 11 pounds and he's already, he was 20 inches and now he's already 22 inches then. And it's like, he's already growing so quick and he's not even two months yet. And I'm like, it makes me emotional already but at the same time I'm glad he's gonna get big so we can actually communicate and do arts and crafts together and sports together and just watching him play with his toys and play outside with the dogs and me and him go swimming with me and etc and him really be my best friend that I've never had which my junior is totally absolutely gonna be he already is he's already my buddy he's already like the love of my life along with his dad his dad just He's an adult person, so his dad gets on my nerves sometimes, which I love him, but I'm like, I wish you made things easier instead of making me mad sometimes. Being a smart butt. But I'm like, I love you, and I love him. Yeah. You postpartum, you're going to be okay, and always ask for help. For sure. Thank goodness for me. My help comes from both grandparents, Grandma Angel and my, my mom, Grandma Francine. They really help me with my son and that's what keeps me mentally sane and calm. It really helps. For sure. sure. Always ask for help. It can be difficult. New mom postpartum can be very difficult and we're gonna be okay. It's like take day by day and the Lord help us.